Welcome. I'm so glad that you can join me here today uh, from the Sovereign Light named after my ministry and this novel, A Course in Metaphysical Spirituality. How do you do? My name is Reverend Maria Arvanitidis. I'm so glad that you can join me here today. Um, pages 562, 63, and 64 out of 848, but I think it says 852 if you purchase the novel or the book that you can find online pretty much anywhere and it comes in nine different formats. How Shall we begin? Thank you. Day 215, lesson 187. And by now, most certainly, the reprogramming has ceased to recover itself in the same. The question of who or what the self is, what it wants, and from all of this, what it might be grateful for. Self, purpose, and intention it has held on through this read and through the many pages going over the ability and to look behind the all-seeing eye of I am and transcend. So as we begin with this lengthy statement, idea, affirmation to reaffirm throughout the day and confirm that it may sink in and have your neural pathway uh, recreate or um, perhaps uh, retrain or find another way of looking at things and this is how we change behavioral changes cause our perspectives our perspectives change and this way we see things differently through a different perception and as the sun starts setting and I just about have maybe an hour and let's see if we can get this happening and take a few deep breaths in and out and through the nose in and out and let it all come through and down and find your center and anchor through the heart space center welcome home you can opt to have your eyes closed or open wherever you feel that you have now mindfully grounded yourself in a place that is most trusting to surrender and feel this as we begin to sample and say these words out loud I like to hear you repeat them after me or say them along with me or even hear them in your thoughts I am observing and expressing the unknown story within existence behind the omnipresence of unknowable formlessness forming and as an aspect of the infinite I am an emphasis from this awareness to explore. I am observing and expressing the unknown story within existence behind the omnipresence of unknowable formlessness forming 
and as an aspect of the infinite, I am an emphasis from this awareness to explore. I am observing and expressing the unknown story within existence behind the omnipresence of unknowable formlessness forming and as an aspect of the infinite I am an emphasis from this awareness to explore and as we slowly start to blanket over with the night and the new moon waxing up in the sky we'd like to get this done and see how much we can cover and complete for today the intelligence is the only thing and that knows to separate for itself to deny that which it thinks it is not life over soul and the agreed upon image of God from the many yet it has created for itself to experience and in the same way such creative constructs to conceive with opposition erasing all the mind has ever known and to only reactivate it with the same intention the energy that occupies and wills forth from its information the many different variations and of the same belief to follow full circle in the oneness of creation in its denial for the other in it and in it its many variations of perception from the many facets of the one self that is all things from and this paradox of intention to have created sides with to know God is to thyself and when the self can know itself for certain then it can know what it is not from the knowing of what it is not it can find itself this is how the many versions can help the one God life force and to help the many with to wake up and with the self evolve to the next level of consciousness when feeling in with love consciousness is the only thing and that the self can truly be I am observing and expressing the unknown story within existence behind the omnipresence of unknowable formlessness forming and as an aspect of the infinite I am an emphasis from this awareness to explore the love is what holds the space to fill it in with brilliance and then expand it out as creator consciousness is the only thing and that the self can truly be the paradox pulls and pushes at both levels of creation to attract simultaneously within configuration for the self to play and manifest for it the world this living breathing entity with soul and essence is a multi-dimensional portal from which anything and everything is possible within the many power of words the Greek translation is breath 
into the soul and from the meaning soul interpreted the word lungs the spirit psyche can come unfrozen to awaken from the card it holds and this is the heart cardia vehicle of thea goddess words are very powerful indeed are they not intuitive insights however are a form of intelligence that moves beyond the rational mind and that of the relationships of cause and effect i am observing and expressing the unknown story within existence behind the omnipresence of unknowable formlessness forming and as an aspect of the infinite i am an emphasis from this awareness to explore the quantum leaps in thinking and where the self has been exploring to practice with seeing as well as feeling the subatomic particles and of creative construct does not have to coexist in the space of linear thinking instead a non-algorithmic intuition and that creativity is an extension of the system has gaps obviously this is the paradox of the many and from which it leaves the system from its support and for its agreed upon theories the earth assumed to be flat then round and might very well be shapeless altogether the only thing that gives it shape is the perceiver from its observational and often trained perspective that we all come to agree upon as a collective from this one opinion that we come to know as fact as much as the intention for clearing and reprogramming from these lessons are nothing can truly be because nothing needs to be fixed and rather just to be in admiration of the many changes when the intention is to fix something it locks perception and that of the self into something that again becomes a paradox to the very intention of restoration the purpose for today is to grasp the importance of words to just admire in the perfection of all things to live and let live and <laughs> as it starts to become darker and darker ah uh, you can slowly come around to your surroundings your background foreground and up close and blink your eyes open and just breathe all this in take it all in and i will leave you with these words that you will perhaps might be reading throughout the day rather than uh, trying to memorize it just get what the gist of it it all is and feel it and see how you can adjust to seeing through this perspective i am observing and expressing the unknown story within existence behind the omnipresence of unknowable formlessness forming and as an aspect of the infinite i am an emphasis from this awareness to explore 
So it's taking us beyond that 15% capacity that our mind that we use, that our ego mind is in control of. And when we go beyond that, there's no safety measures. And it becomes scary because there's no programs. So I am observing and expressing the unknown story within existence behind the omnipresence of unknowable formlessness forming and as an aspect of the infinite I am an emphasis from this awareness to explore I am observing and expressing the unknown story within existence behind the omnipresence of unknowable formlessness forming and as an aspect of the infinite I am an emphasis from this awareness to explore 